Hello viewers, this is a tutorial on how to automate unfollow on Instagram using Socinator. With this application, you can easily target users you want to unfollow. Let's start with the Accounts Manager screen from where we can navigate to configure the accounts. To do that, right-click on your account and hit Go to Tools. It will take you to the Account Configuration screen. You can also see the available activities which can be automated on Instagram through Socinator. Let's go to the Unfollower tab because we want to unfollow users on Instagram. This is very useful as it makes it faster and easier to unfollow a number of people within a period of time while narrowing them down in the process. You can find users who don't fit your preferences and unfollow them. There are several configuration categories for unfollow activity. Let's start with unfollow source. First, you can unfollow people followed by Socinator by clicking this box. You can also unfollow people followed outside software. So people you followed yourself. You may also use a custom users list. You can type specific usernames and unfollow them. Let's say you want to unfollow The Rock. Let's type The Rock. You may edit or delete by using the clear all button over here. So let's type it again. You may also import from CSVR text file the usernames of the users you want to unfollow. And when you're ready, click save. For source type, you can use a source type filter. So you can choose to unfollow people who either do not follow back or who follow back. Let's unfollow people who do not follow back. For source filter, you may check this box if the user you want to unfollow should have been followed before a specific number of days and a specific number of hours. Next is job configuration. This allows us to choose the speed at which an account should unfollow the users. We have already created a few activity speed configurations which you can use, like slow with an average daily activities of 83, medium for 250, fast for 416, or super fast for 666. Super fast is not recommended for new or real accounts. If you want to define your own speed settings, click Advanced Settings over here. Delay between each operation is, in this case, the number of seconds between each Instagram user is unfollowed. Let's say 8 to 15 seconds. Delay between jobs is the number of minutes the software should pause after unfollowing the number of users you set in number of unfollows per job. Number of unfollow per job will allow you to specify the number of Instagram users you want to unfollow per job or per cycle. You may also specify the number of users you want to unfollow per hour, per day, and per week. Click this box if you want to increase each day with a specific number until it reaches another specific number of max unfollows per day. You can also create a daily schedule under day of the week when to operate. This is very useful, especially if you want to keep unfollowing users even when you're asleep or busy doing other things. It is also important to manage the number of people you unfollow at a certain time. If you don't want to operate on, let's say, a Monday, click the trash button and it's gone. You can add multiple time frames in one day. Simply click the day you want to configure, let's say Monday. Provide a start and end time, 12 a.m. to, let's say, 1.59 p.m. and click Add Interval. Let's add another one, 2 p.m. to 11.59 p.m. As you can see, you can add more than one schedule in a single day. You may save these time settings by clicking Create Favorite and let's name it Unfollow. 
and click Save. We can then open it by selecting Favorite Time over here and choose Unfollow. The next tool is User Filters. This allows us to filter the users we want to unfollow in Instagram. For example, the user we want to unfollow should have a profile picture. The user must have a minimum of let's say 10 posts and a maximum of 20 posts. Bio or profile description should have a minimum of let's say 5 characters. You can also set the minimum and maximum of the user's followings as well as followers. Let's say you don't want to unfollow users who are into pets. Click must not contain specific words. Type pets, cats, and dogs. You may edit or delete by clicking the clear all button over here and it's gone. You may also import from CSV or text file by clicking the import from CSV or text file button over here. So let's click it and choose the right file pets and click open. When you're all set, click the save button. Users with these text in bio will be ignored and not unfollowed by Socinator. The next one is the opposite of the previous one. If you want to unfollow people who are into, let's say, politics, let's click must have at least one post with a caption containing specific words and type politics, government, and president and click save. You may edit or delete using the clear all button. Likewise, you may also import from CSV or text file by clicking this button. Users with these keywords will be searched and unfollowed by Socinator. Next, we have follow ratio, which is ratio of followers and followings. You can input a follow ratio less than or greater than a specific number. You can also provide a follow ratio in a specific range between two numbers, let's say one to two. If you want to unfollow a user who is not active, you can click should not posted within the last, let's say 30 days. Filter by gender allows you to ignore specific users according to their gender. If you don't want to unfollow female users, check ignore females. Skip non-English users will not unfollow users with non-English text in their profile and bio. This will make it easier for you to unfollow English-speaking people around the world. Be careful in using too much filters though. They aren't perfect and using a lot at the same time is therefore not encouraged. You can ignore private users if you only want to unfollow public profiles. You can also ignore business profiles and verified users if you don't want to unfollow them. The next one is other configurations. First is enable auto follow or unfollow. So you have the option to stop unfollow and start follow or you have the only stop unfollow tool when reaching a certain number of followings or when a follower or followings is greater than a specific number. You may also cancel private requests by checking this box. The last one is to manage whitelisted and blacklisted users. Click skip whitelisted users if you don't want to unfollow specific users. Whitelisted users are the Instagram profiles you want to keep. So if you skip them, they won't be unfollowed. This can be a private whitelist, which is actually a whitelist that belongs to a specific Instagram account or a group whitelist, which is shared between all the accounts you add. You also have the option to add to blacklist after unfollowing. So the users you unfollowed on Instagram will be automatically added to a blacklist. It can be either a private blacklist, which is actually a blacklist that belongs to a specific Instagram account, 
or a group blacklist, which is shared between all the accounts you add. When you're satisfied with all the configurations and are ready to start unfollowing users, let's scroll up and hit the Save button. Okay. And after that, click the Status button to make it active. Now that it's active, let me show you another option in automating unfollows on Instagram using Socinator. This one allows us to create campaigns, which is perfect for multiple accounts. To start, let's go to the upper right corner, click the social drop down button, and choose Instagram. This will take us to the accounts tab. Let's switch to grow followers and make sure unfollower is chosen on the left side of the app because we are trying to automate Instagram unfollows. Here, we can create and name our campaign. Let's call it Instagram unfollow. Unfollow source, you may select people followed by the software. Source type, if you want to use a source type filter. So let's unfollow those who do not follow back. Source filter, if the user should have been followed before a specific number of days and hours next is job configuration an average daily activities of 83 should be okay so let's select slow for user filters let's unfollow those who don't have a profile picture so let's not check it verified business and private accounts Let's ignore females so that we won't unfollow them. Other configurations, it's up to you. You may also manage whitelisted and blacklisted users. So you can skip whitelisted users so that you won't unfollow them. And you can add to blacklist the users after unfollowing them. When you're ready, let's click the blue button. In this part, you can select multiple Instagram accounts. Since we only have one account right now, let's go with that by checking the box and click Save. After saving, let's click the red button, Create Campaign. Since this account already has configuration settings, saving these new campaign settings will override the previous settings earlier. Let's check the box right here and click Save. This will bring us to the Campaigns tab. You can now see we have successfully created the Instagram unfollow campaign with the new settings we've chosen. For the action button, you may edit, duplicate, or delete this campaign. The status is active, and if you click it, you may pause it. And that's it for the tutorial. I hope you learned a lot, and thank you so much for watching.